So it's been a while since I did a um, Adobe tutorial in Photoshop or um, Illustrator. This one's actually going to be Illustrator, but I wanted to move it a little slow today. And then um, I'm going to create new. And as I've said in my previous uh, tutorials, I always open up the file basically in the size that I want to use. So 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter is what I use for Adobe Illustrator. And this tutorial is going to be kind of similar to my last Illustrator tutorial, but it's going to show you an easier way to um, lump the colors together. Um, another thing is when I design in uh, Photoshop, I make sure that anything white has a little bit of color. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. I have two screens running here on this computer. If you haven't used two screens for design, two screens is amazing. I love it. I don't know how I could show you both, you know, both screens at once, but it's opening. You guys probably can hear my daughter in the shower talking to herself. She's always talking to herself. So if this thing ever decides to open, I'm going to close this off. So I want to... Um, bring in the image that I saved. So I'm going to go to open. And then once that screen opens, I'm going to find the file that I just saved. And here it is, baller dad. Oh, I didn't, I guess I didn't need to open a new um, window. The fact that it's bigger than the space uh, given doesn't matter. So the next thing I'm going to do is image trace. I just clicked OK here. And they're just warning, warning me that it's a um, larger image. So as you see, it took away the baller. It took away my little guys that are in my letters. And the reason why I did that is because it basically um, traced the black, black and white image. You go over here to preset. And I had three colors in mind. So you just choose the amount of colors that you have. So we're still missing the little guys. And I'm assuming that is because, where are my layers? Huh. I think it's because they're counting um, the background as a layer. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna choose six colors and let it rework itself. You see your design as the way it should be um, you're going to expand it so that you can see all those different colors and layers. I'm sorry, everything's taking so long. So there we go. So I'm going to expand this now. And as you can see, there's a, you know, kind of a tracer. So now we have one group. And there's pass and compound pass in each group. So what I want to do is go up to its object and ungroup because I don't want them connected to each other. So in my last video, I had you guys go through and select individually. Um, the first thing we're going to do is delete anything. No. Yeah, we're going to delete anything that we don't want. And the way you do that is you just highlight 
if you want to highlight more than one at a time, you hold down shift. And we don't need any of these white areas. And to see what something is, if I don't know, I just kind of turn it off and on. Okay. I don't need these guys either. So now we're going to do some matching of the colors. So I'm going to select the one color. You know, a lot of times when you do an image trace and you expand it, there are millions of little bitty teeny tiny pieces, but this one doesn't have that many, but it still serves the same purpose to show you how to bring all that stuff together. I don't need this background either. So I'm selecting the red. And then I'm going to go up here to select same and I choose fill and stroke because the fill and but the fill and the stroke are the same color. But say you did have a, a stroke that you created in Photoshop and you wanted to serve as a background, but you also had another piece that was the same color. If you wanted those to cut together in uh, your um, uh, pr in design space, then you would want to select all those colors. But anyway, so I always choose fill and stroke. So when it goes through and it collect, selects everything of that color. So now that it's selected all of the uh, light colors, I'm going to go to object, compound path, and make. And for anybody that's using a Mac, I always use command eight. I, I just, it's just quicker than doing all that. I'm not sure what it would be on a Windows PC or any other PC. PC. But you click make and it connects all of those. So now I have one big piece. So these little black pieces, I don't need either. I don't know if you can see this down here, but that's what this is. So we're gonna do the same here. Select, same, fill, color. Like I said, I usually use fill and stroke, but I hit fill color that time. And then I'm going to command eight again. And now my design is two pieces and it's ready for me to upload um, into um, design space. So this we're going to save as. We want it save as an SVG. And if you don't want to go through all the work and you want to um, purchase this file, the link will be in the description or in the blog post, depending on uh, where you're looking at it. So. So now we're going to upload that file into um, our design space. Upload, upload image, browse, and find the file that you just saved. Mine always seems to hide. Yet. And I want to upload the SVG. Resize to the side I need size I get out. Resize to the size you need. Um, and then now you can change the colors if you want to. But that's how you take a, a Photoshop or any other um, file and convert it and merge the colors in 
Adobe Illustrator. Hope I helped you today.